that the, like no no trips to Mars have failed because of micrometeorites. Um, now a Dragon spacecraft, which operates in low Earth orbit, um, does have micrometeorite shields. It has micrometeor it has shielding. Um, and micrometeorite shielding is like it's different from normal shielding because like you get hit by something that's moving at like you could have a relative velocity of like maybe thirty or forty thousand miles per hour. Um, yeah, so very very fast. Um, or, or just th- thought of another way, call it um, you know ten to twenty times the the velocity of a bullet from an assault rifle. And what um, are you what are so, you so using? Like, yeah, so well, it's it's interesting. You actually, in order for, for micrometeorite protection, if you have anything like anything that's solid, it will just it will just push that chunk of sol- solid stuff right through. So you, if you had like a solid plate of aluminum or steel, the mi- the micrometeorite would would go s- right through it. Um, uh, so what you actually need to do is have a gap. Um, so you have an initial uh, like hard hard surface. The hard metal surface that the micrometeorite hits, it then atomizes into an a, a, into a, a conical spray, like an atomic spray, 